I'm from Metro Modular from Sydney, Australia, and uh, what we're demonstrating today is a bunch of modules that we've designed, some of which are in production and are available through dealers, and some of which are prototypes. Um, one thing I'd like to show you right now is a filter that's an original design of ours. It's called the Steel Falcon, and it's designed to be a cross between a Polyvox filter and a Roland System 100M low pass. So it has really nice tracking, but it's also got a bit of grit and distortion to the sound. So if we um, just get everything um, turned up, uh, hang on a sec, just turn. Uh, um, it's a really sort of funky filter that, if you listen to it, um, it tracks well and it's got a nicely controlled resonance. And it's also got outputs for all of the four poles. So the one that I like the most is the one pole output, which actually, which actually gives you almost like a phaser type sound. And you've also got two pole, which is sort of sounds very much like a sort of like a twangy two pole filter. Three pole, which is another fave of mine, with a, just a bit of bite to it. And of course, for the classic sound, we've got the four pole. And um, this particular version of the module is a limited edition, and it's got basically the kitchen sink. It's got um, uh, four control inputs, uh, three audio inputs, each with their own mix control, um, linear AC FM, which is sort of a subtle effect, but actually gives you quite a different modulation effect if you're using audio rate. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, we think it's, it's actually been the biggest hit of the show so far that we've, of all the stuff we've brought. Um, we also do reproductions of classic filters from the Aries system, which was an American system from the late 1970s. And we're just announcing at the show today that we're doing authorised reproductions of the ETI Maplin synths with the involvement of the original designer, Trevor Marshall. So this is this one over here. Yeah, so, so it's a really um, funky filter that was actually a totally original design used the circuit technique that was the article was published in Australian Mass Market magazine a month before Dave Luch of Moon actually lodged a patent for the same idea in America and was granted it. So it was very ahead of its time. So yeah. So it was yeah. So um, it's been a great show so far and really really enjoyed meeting everyone today. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much, Justin. Thanks for stopping by.